Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on uh, AdStation. So in this tutorial we are going to go the, f through the user interface of AdStation. So let's start from the top left, let's click on here, this is your uh, about information on the AdStation application. And let's click again to exit. Uh, here you have a menu called a station, which shows you what you see at the moment. You can go to the global effects, clicking on FX like so. And of course, you can go back to the other station, uh, click on the menu here. Next, we have the selection of instrument. At the moment, we have um, the analog WA brass instrument selected. So we could click on it and it will show us uh, inside the folder called analog all the different instrument. You can go up the chain, click on that um, um, link which said instrument, which will show you all the different folders. You can create a new folder, like so. For, let's, for example, call this folder user and press enter or create a folder. And you have created now a new user folder. Again, you can go up to see that you have a user folder created there. Let's go inside the user folder. We can create also an instrument, clicking on the plus instrument. Let's call this uh, sound for more test and let's print enter. Okay, and let's also click save. So I show you that as well, which gives you option to cancel, of course, the save move, but also to save the instrument. In this case, the instrument called SFM test. And we can, of course, share the instrument we, as a zip file, which is the first option here. But you can also share the folder called user in a zip file and then of course you select on it and you can share it by email here or you can use the normal um, iPad or iOS um, way of sharing. So let's exit here. Here we have information on uh, the performance like the SP in percentage and the utilization. Here we have a list of all the recordings that we've done before. So you can click on it and you can press play here to hear the um, the play of uh, that instrument. Uh, you can of course add share it again uh, from an email perspective. You see the WAV file there. Let's click the lead draft. You can uh, share it in the normal way, and of course you can also delete it like so. Um, you can clicking on this icon and um, start the uh, recording session. You can click yes or cancel. When you finish recording, you can click on the same icon to stop it and the recording will appear back here. Then you have the cog symbol where you can uh, set the background audio. So if you want the audio to continue as the application is set in the background, as you're using something else, you can enable disable the Ableton link. You can select any a Bluetooth MIDI device. You can enable the channel for the MIDI input, uh, Omni or different channels like so. And then of course you can set to enable the keyboard velocity under here or not. Just a reminder, I'm just using the application as a standalone mode, but you can use it as well as an AUV free instance. Here we have a question mark which uh, if you click on it allows you to open the manual for for other station so you click on it again to exit so um in the middle of the screen we have the ad station view as i mentioned a moment ago that changes the global effects if you click here as i just explained let's focus for now on uh, this screen you have uh, a block section block view you have a loop view and level view and a pitch view um, we'll go through these in, in a moment, but you have essentially four different parts, one, two, three, four per instrument, and then you have uh, the possibility to create for each instrument what is called an additive block, or an additive parameter block, uh, where you can set further um, settings for uh, the block and also the part. Um, I'll come back to this in a moment. Underneath here we have the uh, classical representation of our keyboard. <clears throat> you have the keyboard range here. And let's actually click a, uh, create a block, just clicking simply on one of the blocks is created, a default block. And so you can see it's playing, but you can play the block. You can move up and down the range clicking. So it's like moving up octave, but it's really not the octave, it's just the range on the keyboard. 
so you can reach lower uh, part of the keyboard higher part of the keyboard or ranges different ranges you can set the scale in this case it's chromatic but for example you can say i want uh, a minor pentatonic and click done and you can see that the keyboard now will represent all the c pentatonic minor uh, keys or notes of the scales and the other thing to notice as well there is a quantize uh, uh, functions in here and what this does show is um, if it if it is disabled as you um, press a note on the keyboard and hold and move subsequently you see uh, an if like a portamento glissando effect right but if the quantize uh, function is actually on it will just move to the next uh, note or pitch okay perfect next um let's start to talk about this view uh, the block view so i created now a first block and it's very simple to create an additive parameter block just click on the different blocks for the different parts if you want to remove or change the setting of the blocks click and hold and then you can decide if you want to remove a block like so or if you want to insert a block between two blocks if you want to copy because you want to paste the block over another block and you can also copy and paste the underlying part as well which i show you in an additional tutorial but uh, just as an example if you click on a block that you created you can set additional parameters for the blocks which we'll see in the next uh, tutorial but also you can set different settings um, change different settings for the part and if you click again on this arrow button you exit the block now for simplicity let's remove uh, uh, the, the two blocks here underneath so we have only one part of four with uh, actually let's create four blocks like so now the reason that you have multiple blocks is because when you play you can set the loop or the plane moving from one block to the other and you can have that done by the modulation wheel but also by the sequencer tempo so for example if i click and hold on the keyboard You can see in the loop was moving between the four different blocks okay and that is a setting which if you go on a block and you go inside part here and you go in sequence as we'll see in future tutorial you can change from time to modulation wheel but i will explain that in a future tutorial back to the block and um, view as i explained this is where you manipulate your blocks and you have a nice uh, easy way to see them you have a loop functionality as well is where you set the loop so you can say loop only for the first three block you just click and hold on a block and as you're uh, keep pressing the mouse or you're holding your uh, finger on the screen you move so you can select a range so again if i click and hold the note you will see here the loop will be only on the first three blocks okay perfect you can also set the levels for each block so you click and hold and so you and you decrease the level so let's do something like a gating effect like so and let's try okay remember the loop is only in the first three blocks as you can see here and of course you can change also the pitch so you can say down the pitch here uh, up a lot back to almost the same let's reset the levels to maximum to or almost maximum like so and let's click play to give you an understanding of how the pitch works okay of course things get more interesting as we'll see in the next tutorial when you we start to, to manipulate if each of the different um additive parameter blocks but we'll see that in the next tutorial i hope you enjoyed find it useful so you see you next time bye